hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl the elite and kama kawaida i always bring you the best and so today i'm going to bring you 10 good business hustle that you can do in kenya whether you have a thousand bob or you have five thousand like maximum five thousand and minimal a thousand bob but you can exceed if you want to uh these businesses are businesses that even anyone can do so guys First of all, tell me how's my makeup? I really tried to do my makeup all by myself. Uh huh. How is it? Let me know. So guys, actually wrote notes today. Yeah, I really tried. I don't know if you guys can see. I really hope you can see. Yeah. So top ten business hustle you can do with as little as a thousand bob to five thousand kenyan shillings and number one i'm going to start with food i'm going to start with food fruits yeah so number one is fruit salad i did that back then in 2020 2020 october yeah i did that now the reason i did that was because i'd lost my job so i couldn't just sit in the house and do nothing so and actually the businesses i'm going to do i'm going to give you today like 90 percent have done them so i know how good they can be so like yeah with fruit salad i did that i used to pack them in a container of 50 yeah i bought the containers and then go buy some fruits so the first day definitely you won't make a lot of profit you can make a i think 300 if i can still remember sorry i have flu uh if i can still remember like uh three three hundred shillings profit that is because i didn't know where i'll get cheap fruits yes uh at an affordable prices so i used to go for very expensive fruits so yeah that is why i used to make like 300 but you can also like go for expensive fruits and make like 300 on a, on a daily basis but uh after i discovered the uh, that uh, there are some fruits you can uh, do with them they're good in good condition and they're cheap you'll go for them that is when i decided like okay let me try this one and guess what i used to go home with 700 minimum yeah like yeah 700 shillings uh on a daily basis i did that for two weeks because i had a house girl in the house i had kids to feed i had my sister around i had bills to pay so yeah that is uh, that uh is precisely what i did in 2016 and uh, guys it pays good money yeah so if you can decide to make 50 and above 50 100 yeah the better and uh one thing about this business by three you are done you've collected your money you've collected the dishes you go ahead like because these dishes you can reuse them as long as it takes so long as it was potato dish here so that one i did that one was number one number two breakfast you can actually make breakfast for people kuna watu hawa madaktari wengi wanakwanga wanatoka kwa nyumba haje kunywa breakfast mzee you can cook unaweza uka make unaweza uka sema okay leo naeka toast mayai or you cook mayai then boil nduma ngwashe like you get you get it then eka kidogo kidogo with ngwashe you deep fry because pia wanapenda vitu fancy like you just take them eka kwa hizo tins za kupack you can look for zile stronger than you have a picture you only pick them so long as you have foil paper actually that one for this kind of business this one when it comes to breakfast you have to make less than a thousand bob maybe for a start you have to make a thousand bob because of the of buying those tins maybe 20 or something and then and i use these ones and i need to make a sell them at a hundred bob you may take maybe like 20 that is two thousand in a day surely and then what on a complain I couldn't job book with Vinge. Still as you know, employed do quit a job. You can actually choose this one and just do it. Yeah, but like a breakfast. Like you made your co breakfast. I know of a guy when ye waga and attendeneza lunch. Lunch for breakfast for breakfast me I did it. Yeah, and like one apeleka ko hospitali, come office kubwa kubwa. Yes. Because na jua wa wanapenda kukula. So sana sana in LD nilikuwa na major Zion Mall they know me vizuri sana na machakula and referral and the Lorest Hospital and Makiu siko anapika ngacha chakula mingi 
So I had specific customers when you know later and then tomorrow I'll, I'll just tell to them tomorrow we are going to take this and this. Yeah, so like with time unakuja unakuwa ni wewe na customers wewe na customers wewe na customers so they just know you. And then kuna wala ataku request, hey how about kesho ni lete lunch? You'll just have to go an extra mile. Alafu unamwambia na lunch akikwambia lunch unafanyanga na ngapi 200 shillings. Like you cook something, some meat, extra spices kidogo and yeah, unamuuliza kwanza would you like it with spices or not? Unampelekea like you just pack it fancy. Like mtu akiona kabisa anaona wow. Now this is what I've been talking about. So that is it. And then chapati and maharagwe. This one I also did. Uh that was in 20 2016. I'd given birth to Liam and I was staying at my aunt's place and come to party at her house. So like you guys uh, had to like uh, cater for yourself. And I had my sister and I had my cousin and and I was the eldest. Nitaka tuanze kuanga diana now what are we going to eat? And I had a son. Hmm? Mm -mm. So what I used to do, I used to cook uh, maharagwe or githeri and chapati. That one was for lunch. Ningepeleka nende ni uze soko. For me, sasa yu siku anenda kwa zile offices kubwa kubwa. Nilikuwa na uzia soko ndani. And my chapati ilikuwa 20 bob. Maharagwe zangu zilikuwa 30 bob. So you nezo ke imagine. And I used to make 40 chapatis. That is 20. Maharagwe plates of 20. Sasa ule mwenye tachukua maharagu, chapati na, and my chapatis are always so soft. Now, you see brag, but that is the truth. And they are always so sweet. And they are always layered. So if you guys want me to do a, how to cook soft layered chapati, I'll do that. Yeah, because my chapatis are always good. <laughs> Yeah, not to brag. So I used to go sell them. But at uh, uh, three, nilikuwa nisha sanya pesa yangu nimerudi kwa nyumba. Yeah, that was me in 2016. Sikuwa na job. I did that, I think, for three months. Yeah, you nilikuwa na survive before opening my own hotel. Enye nilirun and then later on ikapata body atiana and that was it. So, hmm? the next one is boiled egg and samosa. That one I will lie if I say it. If I, that one I haven't done. But I know it's a good business because a friend of mine does it. And that is what pays her bill. That is what inapeleka mtuto wake shule. That is what inamvalisha. That is what is feeding them. So like yes, it pays. I know. It pays and it pays. So yes, you can uh, you can research more on that, but that one please. Hakuna jetu danganyana ati nikupeleke hivi nikupeleke hivi new. Egg and samosas they pay. So mitumba, this one I did. From inner wire socks says unguza uh, watoto, and I'll still do that. Yeah, because this one says nikisema ni nini, it's just me opening something and then nieke. But now, mi nikianza maria kwanza, I only started with 2,000 shillings. Jerry can attest to that. So, like, yeah. And then I can unua panties, bras, and toxes. And I used to tell you guys to buy, like, here yeah, my friends to buy. So, nitakutana now. And then there are those ones, so nyongisema ni unete nguwa za watoto if I come across one. The more people wana kujua, the more they request new things from you. I love the problem with this kind of business is you don't expect like mtu atakulipa that same day. If you're lucky, utapata wakulipa that same day. If you're not lucky, some guys will pay you like after three, three days, do wakulipa hiyo pesa. But before urudie mzigo ingine, like watakuwa memaza kukulipa. So that's the challenge with this one business. So the fifth one, hey God, tunenda mbio. Washing, eh, hey, what? Washing clothes and cleaning the house. Yeah, that one I did. I did. It was after, after, after what? After I had given birth to Liam, to Tiana. So three months after I didn't have a job, and yeah, the bills were supposed to be paid. And you know, definitely, you call Azima to but I thank God my mama did wanna come through for us when it comes to food. So I used to go, there's this mama mwenye, okay, a friend of mine had wana kuwanga mango, and then she introduced me to this one woman, and this woman introduced me to two of her, of other women wenye nilikuwa na wafulia during the weekend. So this, this woman, angi nilipa 500 kani kufuwa peke yake, and then angi, angi ongeza, ni kuenda kuosha nyumba, kumosha vyombo, like ya, do the seats, ni mpange nyumba, and she used to love it, ni kisha maliza kupanga nyumba, she was like, Ulisoma interior design na 
I just love doing I just love when the house is clean and arranged yeah so that was me angi nilipa 300 kwa kufanya hizo kazi za nyumba so total nilikuwa 700 the other one ongi nilipatia 500 500 nyumba nyingine kwa nishi nilikuwa ni ya 4000 so at the end of the week ningekuwa na na more than 1500 more than 1500 yeah more than 1500 na pia nilikuwa na dk yenye ndiko nimeanzisha so i used to have two kids unyo walikuwa nakuzenga tunaka nao and they used to pay 100 bob on a daily basis sasa hiyo 100 bob ndio ilikuwa ina to sustain for credit and whatever that was in 2019 sorry 2019 uh, and uh, actually that was the time nilianza youtube because i was so idle <laughs> so like yeah Uh, that one pays so if you get somebody mwenye utaenda kwenda kumfulia and they pay you 500 minimal 400 bi mimi nileka fee yangu 500 though bishta yangu alikuwa amenambia 300 so nikaka 2500 like for emergency just in case na wakakubali so like yeah i did that ukienda okay, waambia ni 200 they'll just pay you 200 but for me nileka to maximum 500 and i used to fuwa and ningefuwa like yenyewe yeah, and that is why i introduced to those are the women yeah because niliangalia nyumba nikaangalia nini and then i was like now here i'll write according to how you live in that was me so mitumba we've talked about mitumba and then bottle decoration now this one i did and i'll show you some samples actually i used to decorate bottles nilikuwa nenda kukota kwa pipa bottles za pombe hunters black label what is it black label kind of name black eyes no black and white yeah like you you get so ntenda ni nazichukua but say tem nilikuwa naziweka na uzi i didn't know where they were selling spray paint of which ningekuwa na ndio place wanauza spray paint believe me you ningekuwa bado mbali size because i'll still be doing it uh so you nilifanya and uh, i used to decorate them kwa anti yangu and sell them to a few of my friends that I knew. So that is it and then door to door salonist. If you are good at plating, yeah I mean ni good at plating but I always do it to my daughter. Yeah, she's ni kasuka mtu mwingine because I'll take three weeks kumaliza. So if you're good at plating and you're fast, you can actually go to, go to do go to do door to do or go door to do and plate. Suka watu and if your work is neat they'll always recommend you'll always utapatanga to call to local free kujo ni shukem toto local free kujo ni suke like you get that is what my salonist does hana malipa kunini but she bought through your door to door alinunua blow dry and so hizi kikuja kuja kukusuka na kama nywele yako inahitaji kwa blow dry she blow dries you kwako to at the comfort of your house so like yes it pays bora tu kuni ni a good spokesperson yeah because pin it has the key au sende kwa mlanga mtu wa baadhi naweza nikakusukia nywele like somebody will be like sasa vinyewe ni mpola anajua kufanya nini like yeah be aggressive jitume yeah and also look decent to sikai tu ile mtu mwenye like yeah unaenda kunini kusuka and yeah, like yeah be decent kwa hizi kazi zote nakwambia like you need just to be decent For you, any product to sell that is you as you need to be decent kwa mtu ndiye kule chakula yako kwanza naangalianga the outward look yako kwanza mhm mm flower vase hey faith come here so this is me and my friend faith after tumepoteza job yetu ndio nianze nge kutengeneza fruit salad before fruit salad we actually started making flower vase na nini na simiti na old clothes zenye tumezitupa and then tukakulikuwa tunapaka na nini ofisi kwa nani me discover like okay it's something to look at on a pinterest then youtube you get and we used to make them kwa hiyo flower vase we only made 5000 shillings and then we quitted pesa kiwanga mingi mzuri you just quit so the good thing with this one sisi like uh, sister uh, faith alikuwa anafanya alikuwa anauza alikuwa na flower land yeah alikuwa amepanda flowers so like clients so and walikuwa na tunidizi flower base so for us that was it you can still do it like look for a flower 
garden ask them if you can put the, your flower vase there just make them i'll do a tutorial on how to do it or i can explain to look at school and and towel in it to make or t-shirt in it to make it can in the cube and can in the cube and towel come on Kama ni ndogo ndogo ilikuwa tisho then tunamwagia initwaje tunamwagia you tell me this tunamwagia tuna tume mix simiti and then tunakuja tunamwagia then eki ya ina kwa ngumu you get even the mix it got funny oh my god I still remember then mat i also did mat nilizishona mingi sana mingi sana hata kuna zenye until today my mom uses them and then kuna zenye aziko ikuwa delivered uh, sorry to all my clients when you see deliver their mats so yeah these are the jobs the top 10 jobs that you can do at home and um, make money out of them and uh, stop complaining that yeah kuna job says yeah most of the people wanna go for self employment so who are you like uh, come on kuna job you are employed and you are having you getting good salary then lucky you and come on a job, on a job and you're looking for something to do then just try pick any of those 10 need points in your mikwambia and you'll thank me later because at the end of the day you need to look for something that pays your bill right yeah so if this one can pay your bill then just go for it usiangalie like now how will i start where will i start like here yeah, this one is your life and you need money because the era we are right now in Kenya, we all need money. Lazima iyo pesa tunitaji. For me, um, I'm going to start a nikuza mangu online, and I think I'm going to make use of my online platform to do something. You get like here, yeah. so you can also if you're good with online and you know, a very big audience. When it comes to online, must they just use that opportunity, sell them to your friends, and once your friends are men, who are my kununua, because sometimes I know friends when I go kununulia, but they'll tell, they'll tell the other person, and the other person will tell another person, and evil what I could tell to client evil evil, and remember, it's high time we start introducing our friends by hey. This one, uh, this one is uh, Janet, and uh, she's the best cook I know so far. So if you're having catering, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, kindly connect with her. You know, like that one is an opportunity you're giving somebody. What do you think? Let me know. So thank you so much for watching my video. If uh, you know of any other business idea that uh, uh, people need to know out there, kindly leave leave a comment, and I'll definitely pin your pin your comment and the people are going to view it and thank you so much again for watching and god bless you